Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the top 10 most questions I get about my Great Pyrenees. So, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get on with the video. So, we've had Mellow for four years, and over the past four years, whenever we're out in public, we get these top 10 questions a lot. Some of them are just like funny questions while others are ones that we could answer. So we're gonna start off with number one, which is the question that we get a lot is a lot of people ask us if he is a horse. Yes, he is a big dog, so people kind of just play that as funny. Mello is our great Pyrenees. Um, and we get questions like, is that a horse? Or is that a wolf? People will commonly mistaken him for a horse. Number two, how much does Mello weigh? Mello, our Great Pyrenees, weighs 150 pounds about. Um, he is four years old, like I said, he is done growing, he will not grow anymore. Um, which brings us to our next question, will he get bigger? No, Mello will not get bigger. Most Great Pyrenees stop growing at about one to two years. Some stop growing earlier, it just depends on your dog. Mello was about done growing when he was about two years old but he um, will not get any bigger than 150 pounds unless he eats more, but he will not get any taller. Number three, how much does he eat? Mello goes to a 50 pound bag of dog food, which he's on the Purina um, dog food. He goes through that bag in about a month. So he gets about a bowl a day. We don't really measure out his food because he eats what he wants to eat. He doesn't overeat. He doesn't undereat. Um, he just eats when he feels he wants to eat. So we don't really measure it out. He eats about a bowl a day to two bowls a day, um, just depending on if he's hungry or if he's not so hungry. He is kind of, he's not a picky eater. He will eat his food, but he doesn't really, he wants what other dogs get. So, number four, we get this question a lot when out in public. People always ask us if they can take pictures of Mello. So, if you see us ever, you can take a picture. Um, a lot of people ask us, and we always say yes, you can take a picture because he is a dog that you do not see every day. So, of course, we say yes. Um, number five, number five, is Mello friendly? Mello is very friendly. He's very good with children, very good with other dogs. Um, we own chickens and he does not mind them. He will go in the chicken coop and will not bother them. So he is very friendly and loves meeting people and new strangers. Six, how old is Mello? Mello is four years old. We commonly get that because people will commonly ask us how old he is and will he get bigger and how much he weighs. Those are the top three questions that we normally get. But Mello is, again, four years old, going on to five next June. Um, so, yeah. What kind of dog is he? A lot of people will ask us this because their first instinct, most people will think he is a white golden retriever um, or a white retriever. So he does kind of look like a white retriever from afar, but white retrievers are not as big as Great Pyrenees's. Um, some people do guess his breed right. Some people have no idea, so they do commonly ask us about his breed. Again, he is a great Pyrenees. How do we deal with the fur? Going on to number eight. So, Mello does shed a lot. It's something that comes with the breed of great Pyrenees. They have a lot of fur, and they shed all year long. They do not stop shedding in the winter or... Um, they do shed more in the summer because it is hotter, but again, they don't stop shedding in the winter, so they do shed. How we deal with the fur, you just have to be able to be cool and um, fine with dog hair. If you do not like dog hair all over the place, a Great Pyrenees is probably not the best dog for you. Yes, you can make sure that you vacuum every day and make sure that you are brushing them, um, but you will always have fur. We always get clothing, like fur on our clothing. We can't really wear black because there will be so much fur on us. Number nine, where does he sleep? So as you can see, Mello is sleeping on our floor in my bedroom. 
and my bed is right beside there. Mello is allowed to go on couches, he's allowed to go on beds, so he will just sleep anywhere. Um, he really likes sleeping on carpet, he likes sleeping on our beds, um, especially when, like, nobody's on our bed, he'll sleep on there. So he kind of just sleeps wherever he feels like he wants to sleep. And finally, number 10, how do we keep Mellow so clean? So for all you people that own Great Pyrenees or any sort of white dog, you will know it can be very difficult to keep them clean. Um, especially if it just had rained, Mellow's feet always get super dirty and muddy. Um, but we keep him clean. We don't really bathe him very often. He doesn't get super dirty because he's not a very playful dog in a way to where he's going to run around or roll in mud or something. Um, we do brush him. I brush him very often. Something you need to be able to do with Great Pyrenees is if you don't have time to brush your dog, um, you probably shouldn't get a Great Pyrenees because their hair does need to be ma maintained. Um, if not, it can result in having to shave them, which you should never shave a Great Pyrenees. It is super bad for their undercoat and their um, fur in general. Um, but those are all the common questions top 10 common questions answered. Again, those are just questions we get out in public. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye!